Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson here, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. We're here at javascript.info, the modern JavaScript tutorial, and we're going to talk about 2.5 data types. We covered a bit of this in a previous tutorial on variables. In JavaScript, there are several data types, starting with strings and numbers. Variables that hold strings, the string value is surrounded by quotation marks or single apostrophes, but whichever you use, you'll want to open and close the string with the same character. The interesting thing about JavaScript, though, is that even though a variable is declared and initially assigned to a string, it can later be reassigned to a number or any other data type. So there's not strict typing in JavaScript. It's called a loosely typed language because a variable can contain any type of data at any point in time. For number data types, a variable can be assigned an integer or a floating point number or reassigned between the two. There are a couple of interesting number values that JavaScript provides. Dividing by zero gives you infinity, and we know the alert method is the alert method of the window, and we can run it right here in this JavaScript tutorial with the run button and see the window alert as infinity. So one divided by zero yields infinity with this comment. Alerting infinity also yields infinity. Let's see what alerting a string that has no numbers in it divided by two gives us. And that gives us NAN, which is JavaScript's way for saying what you're trying to do is not a number, NAN. Such division is erroneous. JavaScript allows you to do a mathematical operation on almost anything, and at worst case, we get NAN. This does not make sense as a result. With strings, there are three different ways to declare a string, quotation marks, single apostrophes, and also with these backpicks where we can embed a variable using the dollar sign and then curly braces syntax. Whether you use quotation marks or single apostrophes, that's up to your style guide of your company. And here are a couple examples of embedding a variable name gone with the backpicks. This will alert this expression, which is the text hello, comma, followed by whatever the variable name of name is, followed by an exclamation point, which is going to end up being hello John. And here we've embedded in an expression with the backpicks. So backpick the result is that part is a string, and then here comes the expression in the dollar sign, curly braces, one plus two, three, and here's the result of that alert. Here our author is showing us that we cannot embed these template literal into quotation marks. We have to use backpicks. So in this case, if we use quotation marks, those characters will be literal, and it will be evaluated literally as a dollar sign and curly braces not as an expression that needs to be evaluated. The author further tells us that there's no character data type, which is common in other languages. All we have in JavaScript is a string and those three different ways of defining a string, quotation marks, apostrophes, and backpicks. The next data type is the Boolean data type. It's just got two values, true or false, and it is used to do comparisons. And so this statement would say, let the is greater variable assigned to or greater than one. So that's going to express to true. And when we alert is greater, we're going to get true. Null is an intentional nothing. If we let age and we assign it to null, that means we are intentionally saying that the age variable is nothing. And that would come into play in cases where you're asking for a piece of data and the user intentionally does not want to give it to you then you want to put null in that field value to indicate that, yes, the question was asked and there is no value to be given. Whereas undefined means we haven't assigned anything at all. Let x simply means that we have this variable named x, but we've never attempted to assign it to anything, so it is undefined. Objects and symbols are more complex data types, and we will definitely talk about objects more later. An object is just a more complex way of storing data, setting those extensively soon. The type of operator is an interesting operator. We simply use type of and then whatever primitive value or expression that we want to evaluate. And type of undefined will yield undefined. Type of any number will yield number. Type of true or false will yield boolean. Type of anything inside quotation marks is going to yield string. Type of symbol will yield symbol. Type of math, that is a built-in JavaScript object, stores all kinds of goodies we'll touch upon later. 
type of null yields object, which is considered an error in the language that has never been corrected. And type of alert is a function, which is a built-in JavaScript method to show you those dialog boxes in those little code snippets. Those are the data types in JavaScript. The key to remember is that JavaScript is a loosely typed language so that a variable can morph between storing one type of data to another based on the context in which it's found in a particular statement in the JavaScript. Thank you.